What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku, and let's let's clear this right off for real. Yes, I'm in the same shirt because I didn't do anything yesterday. I didn't go anywhere, so I went to sleep. I woke up, played games, went to sleep, and I was like, "Yeah, same shirt. It's fine. I ain't doing. I ain't sweat. I, I don't stink. It's cool." But we're not here to talk about that. We had to talk about startup. Now, I was wrong. This is it. There wasn't the season finale. There's gonna be at least another episode next week, so maybe Saturday, which is would be strange because they do a Saturday Sunday combo. So we'll probably get two more episodes, but I don't see how they can string this along for more than two more episodes. But um, yeah, let's let's get into it. What happened? Like, why are they sad? I get why they're sad, but why? Like, really deeply, why? They signed the agreement. Mr. Han tried to stop him because he knew it's even weird that he tried to stop him. It's a great deal. All around, if you really get to brass tacks, it's a great deal. Yes, the company is disbanded. Yes, they don't want Dao Me. They don't want Miss Jun because they have graphic designers. They have a CEO. Why would they want those two? They want the engineers. They want the technology. Now, with that being said, Dosan and his two friends, they get to go to Silicon Valley. The company's still being brought out for $3 billion. They're all rich. They're rich. They're kind of famous. Successful. That's the biggest thing. They're successful now. They have money. They can put that on their resume. Brought out by at 2STO for $3 billion. That looks good on any resume. But they're crying because oh, we're going to be separated. Oh, what about Noon Gill? Well, the whole thing happened, you know. Dalmi took Dosan out for his birthday and theoretically broke up with him. Not that they were officially together, but they, they were kind of together. So she breaks it off, and this is where I'm upset at Dosan. Dosan's lack of understanding women really hurt him here. Yes, Dalmi is breaking up with you, but you need to see the bigger picture. He was so into his textbook, reading about lawsuits, that he couldn't even understand that Dalmi wanted to enjoy this day with him. Without thinking about all the extracurriculars. Because he kept bringing it up, she eventually, she had to let it be known. Like, yo, you, you're a genius. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You can't say no. You cannot say no. You have to go. I'll, Dalmi's going to be fine. They're going to break up and stuff. But Dosan was like, this is my birthday. Were you planning this? Oh, no, I got a message. Uh... Yeah, okay. So Dosan was like, were you planning this from the beginning? And she has her, her back is turned to him because she's walking away. She's like, yes. You can hear her crying. You can hear the sadness in her voice. Dosan did not understand that she didn't want to do this. But for his future, this is like, this is the best thing she could do for him. Is to, to, to kind of, in theory, be the bad guy and say, like, I don't care about you. You need to go and do this stuff because there ain't nothing here for you. To let him go with, with no inhibitions, with no second thoughts. Because if she would have said what she wanted to, they would have went into a lawsuit that they, 9 out of 10, would have lost. Wouldn't have been good for anybody. There might have been hatred brewing. So, no. The best case scenario here, deal's already signed. It's really their fault for not reading. And this is the one part I agree with Mr. Hahn. I hate Mr. Hahn, and y'all know that. But I will agree with him that you signed the deal to your fault for not reading the deal. Nowhere in the deal did it say he has to take everybody. So really, it's you signed it, you've got to abide by it. You want to break it, you got to pay $6 billion. You don't got that kind of money. They just gave you three. So we don't get a happy ending. I thought, um, I don't remember his friend's name. The one that likes Mr. Junk. I don't remember that friend's name. But I thought this was the episode where they would get together because she brought two um, vanilla ice lattes. Um, Dosan and Dalmi could see what she was doing and, you know, kind of played it up. The whole thing happened there. But at the end, he makes a nice video of him just ASMRing the numbers to Pi. Because she mentioned she was going to have a hard time sleeping for a few months. So he did that to help her fall asleep. And it's the sweetest thing I've seen. She listened to it and was knocked out cold. Potentially. She had the little um, eye thing on. And then the brother, I mean, not the brother, but the other guy whose brother died because of the things Mr. Han said. His whole thing with Dosan was, I got to make this jerk. I got I to gotta get my revenge. This jerk said, we wouldn't be successful. We're about to be successful with Dosan. We can't let him be right. We have to be successful. That was his way of saying, don't screw this deal up. It's a great deal. We got to go. 
And it's only for three years. The deal's only three years. Dosan and his crew goes there three years as engineers. After the three years are up, they can go back. So, with all that being said, um, Dao Me talks to Mr. Han about advice. And Mr. Han says, if you can't beat him, join him. NJ tells the director of Sandbox, it's not her, that's the dog, that's the um the person in the picture, it's actually Dao Me. She has a whole conversation with Dao Me, and Dao Me ends up applying for NJ's company to be the um what's that word? What's that word? Starts with the S. Strategic planning manager. Which was honestly a good move for her. I think she'll she'll be a good fit. She she was a decent CEO. I wouldn't say she was a great one, but she's very people friendly. She does think of great ideas. And potentially ways to implement it. She just didn't have the technology, the tech, technological savvy to do the things Dosan and his crew was doing. But I think she'll be a good strategic planning manager, for sure. I mean, look, she sold the company for $3 billion. That's great on any resume, like I said. But the show ends with Dosan and his crew getting on the plane, going to Silicon Valley. Good for them. They needed that. Um, Daomi's applying to NJ's and Miss Jong is sleeping. I don't know what will happen, but we do see clips next week. Three years later, Dosan's coming back. There's some stuff happening with the NJ company. Um, it'll be nice to see after three years the dynamic. What's going on with Daomi and Mr. Han within those three years? I want to see how everything's going to pick up because it looks like there's going to be a lot of trouble on the horizon. By the way, Mr. Han did realize the grandma's going blind, so he, he had a whole conversation with her. Very touching. Don't want to talk about that too much because I hate Mr. Han's guts, but very, very touching scene. I liked it. But yeah, I thought this would be the season finale. I was wrong. How did y'all like the episode? Comment down below. Are you fans of Mr. Han? More fans of Dosan? I want to know because I'm, I'm team Dosan for life. Hate Mr. Han. But yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to all that social media jazz. My videos are just like Samsung Tech. It's a startup company that's going to be sold for $3 billion.